your, your question is you're given this note and you're to write a, an interval a minor third above it. So the way we start, we do it exactly the same way. And it, I'm going to give you certain steps to follow and I'm going to recommend that you do not skip any of the steps. Okay, because if when you start skipping steps, that's usually when students start to get the wrong answers. Yes. How do you, how do you know it's major or minor third? Okay. Oh, it's capital oh, or lower part, third. Yes, I'm using. So how do I know it's a major or minor third? So for me, notice when I make a major. When I mean major, I'm using a very angular M. Okay. When I use minor, I actually put three humps on it. Right. <laughs> it's pretty easy to tell. And that's a good point because if I can't tell the difference on your paper, I'll probably be marking a lot of your answers wrong. So make, make three humps too, you won't absolutely. Okay. Please, please make three humps. Please make three curvy humps from minor <laughs> and smaller, okay. and two big angular humps on major. I love it. And the other thing is, when you're writing diminished, make sure to use a lower date, lowercase d. And you're, when you're writing augmented, please use an uppercase a. Right. Three humps mean minor. All right, so back to this question. So these are the steps. So the first thing you're going to do, just like we were doing, you find the third. You forget if it's major, perfect, minor, doesn't matter. But we know thirds are what? Major, perfect. Major. Right? Which one? I didn't mean yes or no. Which one? Thirds are major. Yes. So we're looking for the major third to start with. So we're just going to do that first. So uh, what's the third above F? A. A. And I can say, all right, the key signature of F is one flat. So that means A is natural in that key. So now I have a, a major, uh, pardon me, a major third. But I want a minor third. I need to make it a half step smaller. So I'm going to make this, the distance a little closer. How would I do it from, with the top note? Yes, Emily. Right, that would make it a half step smaller, wouldn't it? So what, what uh, accidental would be A flat. Correct. So it goes back to this little chart that I gave you. Again, if we, normally we don't write natural signs unless we're canceling out a sharp or flat. But if we start with a natural note and we want to raise it a half step, we'll use a sharp. If we're starting with a sharp, we want to raise it a half step, we'll use a double sharp. If we're starting with a natural, we want to lower it a half step, we'll use a flat. If we're starting with a flat and we want to lower it a half step, we'll use double flat. So it goes back to this chart. So we're at the natural. To make it a half step smaller, we went to the flat. All right, let's, let's, um, let's do another one. Actually, let's do a few out of the book. So I'm looking at page 141 right now. And I'm going to start with this one. looking for a minor second from D. So the first thing I want you to think right now, are seconds major or perfect? In the major scale, they're ma seconds are major. So we're going to find the major second first. So what's the second above D? E. The key signature of D is two sharps. Tells us E is natural. So D to E is natural. I need to make it a half step smaller, so the answer will be E flat. So I'll just put a flat sign right there. The minor second then is D to E flat. Good. All right. Now here's where you really have to pay attention to which, what interval you're starting with. Are fifths major perfect in the major interval? I put me in the major scale. Fifths are perfect. Good. So we're going to start with the, the perfect fifth. So what's a fifth above G? D. And the key signature of G is when sharp tells us D is natural. So G to D is a perfect fifth. Now, remember what I said. If, you, if you're starting with a major interval and you go a half step smaller, you get a minor interval. Major interval, a half step larger, you get augmented. Ma perfect interval, a half step larger, you get an augmented interval. A perfect interval, a half step smaller, you get a diminished interval. 
And then this last one here, a minor interval, half step smaller, becomes a diminished interval. So right now we're at the perfect. So to make it diminished, we only need to go a half step, right? That's why we, we really needed to know that, didn't we? Because if we thought that was a major interval, we would have to go a whole step smaller to make it diminish. So that's why we really have to be clear here. Is the interval perfect or major in the major scale to start with? So fists are perfect. We're going to make it diminish, so the answer will be D flat. Voila. Beautiful. D flat. All right, let's go to the augmented octave from E flat. All right, so I know the perfect octave from E flat is what, this is pretty, pretty easy, right? The perfect octaves are perfect. The perfect octave from E flat is what? E flat. E flat. I need to make it a half step larger, so what will the answer be? E natural. So you're going to, here's a case where I probably would like you to use the natural sign, just to be clear about that. <coughs> 